Hi, my name is Celia Wilkinson Enns, and this reflection is for Wednesday, December 16th, 2020. Our readings today are from Isaiah chapter 45, Psalm 85, and Luke chapter 7. I'll also be sharing a couple of related quotes from a book called The Coming of God by Maria Bolding. My sisters and brothers, we are aware every day that times are hard. The virus, isolation, financial problems, politics, discrimination, turmoil of so many kinds all around us. We long for connection, for health, for security, for peace. But beyond all those longings is a deeper longing. Maria Bolding expresses it this way, God creates in human hearts a huge desire and a sense of need because he wants to fill them with the gift of himself. It is because his self-giving love is there first that such hope can be in us. At the time of Jesus, excuse me, at the time of today's reading from Isaiah, the people of Israel were in captivity in Babylon. Times were hard. And it struck me as I was reading this reading how many times in this passage God says, I am the Lord, there is no other. This repetition reminds us God is God. The plans are God's. The achievement of God's goals is God's. The outcome is not in doubt. God gives us a beautiful image of God's justice coming down like gentle rain and the earth responding by sprouting a crop of salvation. And what does God ask of the people? Turn to me, says God, and be safe, for I am God and there is no other. During Jesus' lifetime on earth, the Holy Land was ruled over by the Romans. And at the time of our gospel passage, John the Baptist had been thrown into prison and times were hard. And John sent some of his followers to Jesus to ask him, are you the one to come or should we look for another? If Jesus had responded by saying, I am God, there is no other, his life would have ended even sooner than it did. Instead, his answer to John came in the form of healing actions and which he expressed in words from another section of Isaiah where we're told about the qualities of the anointed one. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, and the poor have the gospel proclaimed to them. Jesus is the one who restores us to health. Jesus is the one who brings us back to life, who revives us with the good news that God's reign is at hand. What does he ask of us? Maria Bolding says, God's healing love is at work in you and needs your answering love and consent so that it may flow through you to other broken and wounded human beings. You have to consent to being loved by an optimistic God who considers that creation is a success and joyfully keeps on uttering his creative word. Let's turn to God and ask, show me the ways in which I am in need of healing. In what ways am I blind, deaf, dead, poor? Please restore me to health and wholeness. Bring me back to life and show me how I can share your gifts with others. And then we need to listen. In the words of today's Psalm, we will listen to what you have to say, O God, 
for you proclaim peace to your people. Your salvation is near to us who are in awe of you. Amen.